From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for Up Close and Personal here on The Horse's Mouth. We're at the bar at Tommy Max. It's brought to you by our friends at Goodfellas Cigar Lounge in Spirits and the Bruss Nutter Wealth Advisory Team in Ponte Vedra Beach this time around. A very special guest. He's brand new to Jacksonville. It's the new head coach of our Jacksonville Sharks. Coach Jason Gibson. Coach, how are you, man? Doing good, man. Great to have you. Yeah, man, this is a great setup. Short notice, but I'm glad you made it. Oh, yeah. I'm so I can't pass it. How you up. doing? Is the whirlwind coming? You know, you've been here how long? You're the new head coach? I've been back and forth for three weeks. Exciting. So it's it's kind of like, you know, I was just telling the guys out front, it's like, hey, you know, I'm worried about football and operations and things you're supposed to worry about. Yeah. And my wife's like, where are we going to live? What's the school yeah. of the kids? The operations at home. Right, yeah. Right. The real operations. Yeah. You know, she's yeah. the real coach. So it's been great, man. It's been great. And, uh, you know, I tell people a hundred times, man, this is the Yankees of arena football. So yeah. you got to yeah. take it, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Now, yeah. you were in Columbus with the Lions for right. 16 years? Yeah. Wow. I know. So it, then it, it's opportunity. What's that? What just? What's the conversation? Like, you come home, you're like, honey. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the, thing, the thing about it is, you know, when you got, you know, short version, man, I ain't yeah. born. I met my wife at an arena game. Her mom set us up on a blind date. No way. And That's great. so I met her there. And the first thing her dad said is, he's a coach. You know what that means. That yep. means you're going to be moving. Yep. You know, that's just a nomad's life. It's true. It's 16 true. years later, I'd still there. Wow. And that's just unheard of. And yeah. then. Yeah. You know, conversation came up with the Sharks. I have a relationship with the ownership and the things. I, I just thought I'd never leave because we had built such a good thing. But yeah. something came up one day, and finally I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll listen. What's up? Yeah, cool. When when did you know you are going to be a coach, Jason? What, like when, when you are playing? When I knew I couldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> when you knew I it was you, over? I tell you I what. Coach, yeah, stay in it. Uh, was that it, though? Like you loved it? You are just like, man, I want to stay in the game. I want to. If I can't play, I'm, I want to coach. Yeah, I was just yeah. I was I was coaching arena. I mean, I was playing arena, and our team folded. This was a long time ago. Yep. And the coach of the team said, "Hey, I got a job at a high school. Yep. Why don't you come teach and coach?" And I said, "Okay, cool." And then another arena team popped up, and since I had okay. been playing, yeah, they said, "Why don't you start coaching?" And then so cool. It just you know, it steamrolls from there. All right. So how how do you uh, first of all, what's your philosophy? Like what, as a head coach? Oh, wow. God, you ask tough questions what? day well, one. I mean, I, That's I, great, man. I, I mean, I probably know the answer, but I want to hear it from you, right? What do you I mean, think the answer is? Well, accountability has got to be everything. Like, I mean, come uh, on. you got to yeah. perform. you got to be accountable. You know, uh, but what kind of – what's your style, I guess, is the question. Uh, my style is um, – You seem fiery. I, I, like you, I am, passionate. I am, but yeah. I don't have to be the guy that's out there screaming, yelling, cussing. That's, no, right. That's not me. Yeah, no. You know, um, yeah, you don't have to I'm a. That. I'm a huge – practice guy understand the basics of football whether you're at peewee football cfl nfl whatever you are, i believe in doing uh your skill set and really fine-tuning what you do well yep, working to, on your craft to allow you to play fast i'm not yep. a big lineup let's run team plays for an hour and a half that's a waste of time right right you know let's yeah. define what we're going to do let's let's fine-tune that and let's develop a skill set so when we get in the game what really floats my boat since you ask is yep. if i'm in the game it's third and ten, fourth and one, whatever. And my quarterback and me have that relationship. He's like, Coach, you know what? We just saw this, there and this. Let's go trips with a Z. How us run this? Yeah. Hey, I like it. Let's go run it. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I like that relationship. Now, we're not friends. No. But we're yeah. working. Friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's yeah. not a dictatorship. It's not, this is what I do. If you can't do this, you got to get out of here. It's, it's basically, and every year my offense changes. It's based upon personnel I have. Okay. And then I, I have an idea of going into the season. And all of a sudden, by the end of the season, it's always takes a detour and it right. just, you yeah, know, morphs into the talent we have. Your team. Right. So I, I, that's what I enjoy. That's yeah. what I do. But I'm a big discipline guy. I'm a guy, you yeah. know, wear the right what you're supposed to wear, yeah. be where you're supposed to be, yeah. say what you're supposed to say. Right. I learned on, you know, Coughlin was yeah. one of my coaches. So the, and I always tell people because they always think, oh, he's so hard. I'm like, listen, he was fair, he was honest, he was consistent. That's all you want out of a coach. Right. Just at least that's tougher, all I wanted. Because he was tough. He was back. tough. He was tough. BC, he was really tough. The yeah. Jags, the guys were moaning and I'm like, this is nothing compared to Boston <laughs> College. You guys, this is crazy. But right. no, but that it was always fair and honest. You knew where you stood every single day. Right. And I think if I think players really can appreciate that. Well, you know, you know, and like you you've been there so as a player. So you, you know, when you get into coaching, having been a player, you try not to make the mistakes that maybe 
some of the teams you've been to, some of the coaches you see, you're like, yeah, I'm not going to do that when I'm a coach. Right, right, you know? right. You learn from it. But, you know, I remember <laughs> I remember being up, I was up in the CFL, and we were at this exhibition game, and I scored a touchdown. I look over at John Jenkins, and he's he's shaking his head, and I'm thinking, they're going to cut me tomorrow. Right. You know, and, right. then, and, and then so they gave you the whole, hey, we really like you, but look, just tell me I'm cut. Yeah. Just be right. honest. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah, just give it to me. Just just pull the yeah. tape. And so I've yeah. always remembered that. So I just try to tell the players the truth. Be honest. Then I don't have yeah. to hide anything. No, no doubt. No doubt. All right. What's the best part of the, the arena game for you as a coach? What's I the, mean, interaction, the fan experience. You can't yeah. get it. You it's right get, there. The right you just, you just can't get it anywhere else. Yeah. yeah. It's know? like wrestling, but football. Yeah, I mean, I'm, Hockey, a, I'm, I'm a huge NFL guy. I mean, that, to me, yeah, that is, you know, I, you know, I can't wait for tonight. So. Yeah, I know. But yeah. Thursday night football, baby. Oh, man. Thursday night, Bills and the Rams. It's going to be huge. You know, I, and that's what I tell, you know, not to sidetrack. This is yeah. a good question. People tell me, hey, you know, I'm a college guy. I love the yeah. atmosphere. I love the, the players care. No, bull. Yeah. When you can watch a professional athlete like yourself and all the guys in the NFL, and you watch somebody that is really good at their skill, yeah, people don't really realize how good NFL players no, are. No, they are, and yeah. how hard they work. Yep. And I don't want to watch a college game where if you throw a pass, it's seventy five percent they'll catch it. Right. I want to watch the NFL game where there's an inch of separation, and they're going to make the play every yeah. time. Well, we didn't see that with the Jags recently. <laughs> Hopefully this year we do, Coach. Hopefully we do. All right, as we wrap, as we wrap up, sure. um, you mentioned we just mentioned the Rams. You told me a story real quick. Oh, jeez. Because I, I mentioned 93, the Tampa Storm. Tampa was Storm, recruiting me yeah. To play in the arena league. I was out of football. I didn't know what I was going to do. And Jay Gruden was head coach. And you said, I, I tried to get on Jay Gruden's staff. But who did he pick? <laughs> who did he pick? Come on, I tried straight to straight. get on his staff for the UFL team. They had this young receivers coach, you know. And I'm yeah. like, who Fresh out of college, Fresh right? out of college. Maybe, you know, whatever. And, and come to find out that he shows up, it was Sean McVay. Sean McVay. So, wow. You know, That's got to be a cool part of your career, all the coaches that you've met well, on every yeah, level, wherever they yeah. went, whatever and they not, did. And I'm not even at the level yeah. of these other guys and the connections they have, but I tell people I've been on so many teams, I've been cut so many times yeah. that you meet yeah. a lot of really good people, man. That's cool. what football is, the relationships. Well, listen, we wish you nothing but the best. Hope right. big success, win it all. Got to get you out to the game, man. Absolutely. Let me talk to the team. I'll come and get them all fired oh, up. Yeah, because you got me fired up yeah. now. Let's I'm using this energy, but come you on, got me we'll all jacked going. up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but great to have you, Coach. Yeah, man. All the Thanks best. For Welcome me. to Jacksonville. Yep, thank great you. Great to have you. Yes, sir. All right, man. Awesome stuff. Uh, meeting new people right here and the new head coach of our Jacksonville Sharks. Go check them out. This upcoming season going to be a good one. If you like these kind of conversations, see more at IWantToBuzz.com. Till next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the Horse's Mouth. Cheers.